Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel or if you're new here, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, me and Emily are doing the quick fire assumptions. We've seen this absolutely everywhere and we thought that we would get involved. So if you want to find out some of the assumptions that have been made about us, then just keep on watching. Hi guys, we're back again. So our video today is us doing assumptions of what you've sent us in on Instagram. Super fun looking through these and some were really questionable um, and they did give me a little bit of a giggle. So I'm going to do my six and Sophie's got six too that we've picked out. So let's go so i've got them all written down here and ready to go through them and the first one is i assume that you're both really nice and you're never mean to anyone okay so generally we're both really lovely people obviously we're not nasty at all but i think this goes for everybody you reap what you sow if you're nice to someone they'll be nice back to you if they're mean then you've got a right to be mean back to them so I don't I take that as what you will I don't think that we're mean people but we are definitely nice people first assumption you're really happy within yourself I want to say yes to this because I think I've worked on myself so much if you go on my Instagram stories I always put quotes up but I'm pretty sure Sophie's quite the same we've worked on ourselves quite a lot we're still working on ourselves but yeah I'd say I'm happy within myself the next one says you don't speak to anybody from school because you hate them all Okay, so this is true. We don't speak to anybody from school. I only speak to one other person who is Shannon, who's our other best friend. And it's <laughs> definitely not because I hate everybody. Just everybody goes their own separate ways when they leave school. And yeah, just because you don't keep in contact with people doesn't mean that something has ha to have happened. And as you get older anyway, you soon realise that maybe people you were friends with in school don't kind of fit the people that you kind of would involve yourself in now. Number two, this made me laugh when I read it because I just didn't understand. You like Blondie Girl. Well, I'm Ginger, I'm Emily, Sophie's blonde. So, what? like, of course we like each other as friends. I don't know what this winky face is going on about, but we both have partners. We're both happy with that. and We are just friends. That, that's pretty funny. The next opinion says, you are both overly opinionated, so you never agree with each other. And this, to some extent, is true. Me and Emily are both quite big characters. Sometimes we do disagree on things, which is completely normal. But we always, always try to get our opinions across to each other without it sounding like we're being nasty. Sometimes it can come across like we're being bitchy to each other, but we know exactly what we're both like. So I think us both being overly opinionated helps us to be a little bit harsher on ourselves. But yeah, it's never caused us to have an argument, so yeah. Number three, you both already know where you want to go when lockdown is over. Yes, definitely. Me and Sophie actually had planned a hydrofacial to go to after this. And we were planning a girly weekend away if we could get away. So I definitely think that we both know where we want to go. My holiday got cancelled, unfortunately, but obviously a lot of people's have. So I definitely want to rebook that if I can. And yeah, so our first stop is going to be the salon for a facial. <laughs> Some of these that I'm reading are just, they're just crazy. So one of them says you act completely different off camera and this couldn't be further from the truth. Literally what you see is what you get with me and Emily. The only difference is maybe that off camera, I swear, I swear quite a little bit more. Um, obviously I don't like to swear on camera because it's really not a nice habit to have. But yeah, 
we don't act different at all. The, I think the only time I would have said that we acted maybe a little bit different was when we started our YouTube when we were probably a little bit more nervous and we kind of didn't know how to act. But I think the more times that you're sat in front of the camera, it gets a lot easier and you kind of feel a little bit more comfortable. Number four, you'd both do anything for each other. I think this is 100% true. I feel like this has been tested through and through. We've probably been friends now. Mm. it's probably been a really long time it must be more than 10 years 100% but yeah we definitely would do anything for each other we're always there at a drop of a hat and like I feel like we don't even have to remind each other that so it's a pretty good friendship the next uh, <laughs> the next one says you're both completely jealous of each other like no not at all there's nothing for either of us to be jealous about. I'm definitely not jealous of Emily and there's nothing for Emily to be jealous of me. Uh, we're best friends, we share everything together. I only want to see Emily do well and likewise with her with me. So the fact that things like this are assumed between two best friends, like it just completely like makes me wonder like who people have got as their best friend you are both only friends to do youtube like what <laughs> we were both friends before youtube well and truly before we started so this makes me howl but i don't think we could sit next to each other and spend so much time together to film for youtube if we weren't friends I just keep thinking how many hours we'd have to spend filming together and then we'd also have to be in contact all the time for editing and sorting out our videos and then if we wanted to act like friends we'd have to do stuff outside YouTube. That would be a lot of effort and a lot of hours to spend with someone that you didn't want to be friends with. But I think you'd be able to tell on screen. It just wouldn't mesh our videos and I don't think they'd be as fun. But no, we are definitely not only friends just for YouTube. And the last one that I have says, one of you is bossier than the other. Um, No, we're both very bossy people. Like I said before, we're we're both very big strong characters but I wouldn't say we're bossy I think we just know exactly what we want so it does help sometimes like I may say something that comes across as though I'm being a little bit bossy but Emily completely understands that and and it's exactly the same backwards if Emily says something or if we say something go, oh my god I didn't mean for it to sound like that we don't have to apologize to each other because we know that the way that we said it but I suppose if people didn't know us <laughs> and they saw maybe one of our conversations and someone might say that we are bossy but we're definitely not. Final one is you're both super stylish. This is super cute and thank you for whoever sent this through. Um, I think we both try styles that we can. We give it a go. Trends that come out we're always like sending them to each other like what do you think? Do you think this would work? How do you feel about this? Like do you think I could pull this off? Could I do it a different way? I think a lot of the time is how you vision the style. When a trend comes out, it's so easy to just copy what someone else has done and or how they've worn the piece, how they've styled something. And I think you've got to think that that doesn't work for everyone. So I think it's giving your take on that trend. And I think that's what we try to do the most is just put our spin on everything that we love and you know we just really love looking at all the new trends we love looking at even classics and it's just fashion and style is just so fun and i think style can really be your own identity and yeah that's really sweet of you thank you so yeah, if I had to say if we were stylish, I think we are, dare I say it? <laughs> but yeah, we do try. So, I really do hope you enjoyed this assumptions video. It was so interesting to see what kind of things people want to know. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed these juicy assumptions. If you want us to do another one, watch out on our Instagram stories. We're always putting polls up. We're always putting questions up. Put anything through there we love speaking to all of you guys 
thank you so much for 200 subscribers so our next goal is now 250 so make sure you subscribe comment we always love to see what you think but yeah so we will see you very soon for another video bye